Hello there guys, my name is Coast Child Dogs to Born Book Built for Theme Park News and welcome to a brand new Coast Child Review where today we're going to be talking about Rita, also known by in the past as Rita, Queen of Speed at the Alton Towers Resort. Now we're going to be speaking about the facts and stats and history surrounding this attraction and then share my review. Uh, so before we get started guys, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell so you never miss another thrilling YouTube video. We are getting closer and closer to... 2,000 subscribers and we're getting closer and closer to half a million views. I think we could hit this by the end of November So make sure you keep doing it keep getting it and who knows Maybe we could go from half a million views out in total to 1 million views be Between the time that we hit half a million up to the end of the year Maybe by January 1st we could be on a million views overall. So please please make that happen We're nearly halfway there now. Let's get that last steps in and go watch the old videos bit of nostalgia bit of a binge watch you know it's like netflix but without paying for it and um for now guys thank you very very much for tuning into this video let's go into it let's have a look at the facts and stats first of all on rita the forest is taking over in september of 2004 something strange began to occur fences were going up all around ugland while rides and theming were taken apart over the coming months, and after much speculation, it became clear Ugline will become home to a brand new Intamin rocket coaster to be called Rita, Queen of Speed. This was Alton Tower's first launch coaster since the Thunder Looper was removed back in 1997. As the competitors lined up for the Thunder Rock Rally for the first time in 2005, this feisty female stood out from the crowd. For the first five years of her life, Rita, the wild, fast, sexy lady, took part in the Thunder Rock Rally which wove its way around Ugland and this area's prehistoric theming added an interesting twist to the coaster's racing theme. By the end of 2009, Ugland's time at the park had come to an end and for 2010, the area was transformed into the Dark Forest and Rita would have to fight her way back, losing the Queen of Speed tagline and receiving a brand new look and a feisty new attitude. Now this ride was manufactured by Intamin, opened originally on the 1st of April 2005 and rethemed in 2010. Uh, opened at a cost of £8 million with a track length of 640 metres, a maximum track height of 21 metres, a maximum speed of approximately 98 kilometres an hour, 4.7 Gs, the launch gets you to from, a hun from 0 to 100 kilometres an hour in 2.5 seconds. And passengers per train is 20, with a capacity of 1,040 riders per hour, all taking part in a 49 second ride experience, which is not too long at all. So there we go, that is Rita, aka Rita, Queen of Speed at Alden Towers, the facts, the stats, the history. Uh, this ride's been through the ringer. I remember doing this ride when it was in Ugland, as an Ugland ride with the Thunder Rock Rally and Rita, Queen of Speed. Uh, now I remember, I remember that all too well. I remember that so much. I remember hearing the, the, the soundtrack and I remember actually, to be fair, the, the few times, the many few times where I did the corkscrew, I remember seeing the ride go off, like the launch. When I was on the corkscrew, you know, I was looking back a couple of times just to see if it, you know, if it went off. And, you know, it, it's, it's, those, it's those childhood memories that stay with you, stays with you. And, you know, having done the Ugland version of Rita Queen of Speed and the Dark Forest version of Rita, I can safely say that in terms of theming quality, I think the Rita from the Dark Forest is better. But I think the memories come from the Ugland version. Now... Rita is always at the centre of speculation for removal. Over the last few years at least. Over the last four or five years maximum. You know, it's always been at the centre of speculation. You know, is that going to be it? Is Rita going to go for Secret Weapon 9? And even though I've said many, many times this is one of the one sites, one out of two or three sites that I could see for Secret Weapon 9, I really don't think it's going to be Rita going. Because I think it, st it still pulls in big queues on the busiest days. It still pulls in wonderful queues on quiet days sometimes as well. And, you know, even though there's times where they've had to replace stuff and refurbish stuff. The trains get refurbished every year. The trains might change every few years as well. Um, it's still a popular ride. It's still bringing in the crowds. It's not... 
obviously it's not the the best launch coaster in the world it's definitely not the best in this country as well never mind the best in europe it's not the best at all it's not the best launch coaster at all but it does the job for now and you know i think if if rita was to be removed i think the year that they construct its replacement would be the only year without a launch coaster since like the 19 obviously the last year without a launch coaster was of course you know 2004 um and that was when they were constructing rita so 2005 was the the year they brought in this launch coaster so you know 2004 was the last year without a launch coaster and obviously that would be the f obviously if rita was to get removed in a few years time that'd be the first time in what over 20 years we haven't had a launch coaster again so again you look at it yeah i think we can survive for a year i think if rita was to be removed i'd like to see a replacement launch coaster but if it's here for the long term i wouldn't mind because it is still an all right coaster it might not be one of my favorites but it's still an all right coaster and it still does the job it's meant to do and that's to excite people i still have you know those you know those cheeks moments where they sort of hang on i need to do this like uh, like it rattles like it rattles like that when it goes 100 kilometers an hour that's what it still does it still packs a punch and that's the job it's meant to do it's meant to be the queen of speed even though it doesn't read it anymore um but i think when the day does come that it has to go i hope for one time only the dark forest likes to allow you know spirits from the past to rise from the dead for one day only and that would be the thunder rock rally <laughs> the thunder rock rally radio i hope the the forest can allow the thunder rock rally radio to rise from the dead for one day only for a 24 hour lifespan just to hear that audio again and uh, you can bet your lucky stars i'll be there on the last day of rita when that day arrives uh, in our lives but that is going to be it for this review of Rita at Alton Towers. Thank you very, very much for watching this video. My cheeks hurt now. And um, thank you very much. My name is Coast Child. Keep living the coast life. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe for more. And for now, have a nice, thrill day. Thank you.